howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of welcome back so happy you're here I'm really excited about today's video. A couple weeks back, I stumbled across a new channel on YouTube called Space Coast Mealworms, and it's run by a guy named Scott Jost. I watched a couple of these videos, and what I saw totally blew my mind. If you've ever done any work with mealworm farming, you know that the hardest, most time-intensive part of it is definitely sifting the pupas out of your mealworms. It just takes forever. I mean, when I with the system that I have, it was taking me at least five hours a week um, to effectively sift through these. So anyway, I found this video of Scott and he took the amount of material that would seriously take me like an hour, two hours to do, and it looked like he had it done in like 20 seconds. So naturally, I was super intrigued. So uh, I bought one of his large sifting trays uh, and I'm gonna be giving it a little unboxing and review today so that you guys can see what's up. Big thanks to Scott and check out his channel. Uh, check out his website, spacecoastmealworms.com. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to all that stuff down below. Um, so again, check him out. So I got the large mealworm tray. It came, what, I think it only took about three days after the order to get here. So when you get it, It comes to you like this. Space Coast Mealworms. When it is all unwrapped and unpackaged, this is what you're gonna end up with uh, coming to you from Scott. So you've got uh, your sides and your bottom for your box, you've got the instructions, some cool stickers, business card, and uh, this is a really nice touch I thought. These are some little extra wooden pieces in case at some point in the future some of these were to break. Uh, mealworms aren't that strong, I don't know how that happened, but maybe you drop it or something. Uh, you can glue those in instead of having to order a new one. In order to finish assembling it and getting it all together, there are a few more pieces of equipment that we're gonna need. We're gonna use some wood glue, some Q-tips, and you'll probably need a paper towel or two. We're also gonna be using some clamps in order to hold it together, but anything that will put some pressure on it once you've got the glue on will work out fine. It doesn't have to be clamps. All right, let's get it started. Using the Q-tips, we're just gonna put a little bit of wood glue into each of the notches along the bottom. As you start to put the sides on, we're gonna put a little wood glue along those notches as well, and just keep filling each one in as we go around. Once I got it all together, I tidied up the glue just a little bit clamped it together and give it just one more little wipe down. Now we've just got to let it sit for about an hour while that glue dries and then we can take it downstairs and check it out on the mealworms. So a little more than an hour has gone by. It feels pretty solid. And now that we've got our box finished up, let's head down to the mealworms and see how well it works. You may notice something a little bit different about me. I got a tip from one of our viewers and they were mentioning that some people can have allergic reactions to mealworms. When she mentioned that I did realize that a lot of times when I came down and was sifting the mealworms, I'd kind of get a little tight in the chest, be a little bit hard to breathe. Nothing major, nothing that would cause me concern, but it was noticeable. So since our viewer mentioned that, I started wearing a mask when I've come down to sift out and it's helped a lot. I haven't had any troubles at all, so Thank you for that. My plan, I've got some mealworms and pupa that I all need to sift out from each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it once using my old method, and we're gonna time it to see how long it takes. And then I'm gonna do it again using the sifter box that I got from, from Scott. This is the container that we're gonna be sifting today, and we'll do the same thing for both methods. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Using the sieve, I'm going to try to sift out the frass and wheat bran as much as I can. And then we lay it out and start to sort. go. 10 minutes, 34.01 seconds. Let's reset the mealworms and we'll try it again with the Space Coast sifting box. Here we go. Wheat bran's already gone through. I've got time to just pick out some ones I don't want. Already done. 
30.56 seconds. Wow. And this is what you're left with inside the box. You can see we've got a mealworm or two left, but mostly just pupa. And what's really important is their big pupa. And what fell through, you can see, is just the frass, the wheat bran, and some of the, the mealworms and some of the small pupa. And this is one of the differences between the two. By sorting them out by hand, you get every single one of the pupa, but some of them are small. So you can see here's the size difference between the sifter box and what we fell through. The right side is what the box caught, the left side is what fell through. Big pupa mean big beetles, means bigger mealworms in our next generations. What a difference, what an improvement. Taking 10 minutes of work down to 30 seconds. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that 10 minutes of work, that was a super small batch. The, that box that I was sifting out was the very last mealworms of kind of my second generation. Uh, I'm honestly kind of mad I don't have more to sift out because I really want to use this box more. Seeing how fast the wheat bran ran through it, I think I could take a half hour's worth of work down to easily a minute. So let's recap. This was the large mealworm box. This is an eight inch by 11 inch rectangle. It came really quick. The assembly was really easy. Just a little bit of wood glue and some Q-tips were enough to put everything together. Very sturdy, very quality wood. And at the same time, it's light. It's easy to move around. You can really easily sift this thing with one hand. Not only was it so fast, but I don't have to be stooped over. I mean, you saw my setup when I've got the, when I'm picking my pupa out of the thing, I'm just hunched over. And after a while, it just starts to grate on your back and on your neck. So being able to take hours of work down to minutes of work is gonna be a huge game changer. So this thing is, is well worth it. We're gonna see how well this size works. We've got quite a few mealworms coming down the pipe. So as things get a little bit bigger, I might even be upgrading to the extra large system. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, go check out Scott's site at spacecoastmealworms.com. And if you guys are interested in any other kind of mealworm farming or growing things out on your own, check out mealwormfarming.org. I'm gonna leave links to everything down below. Once again, thank you all for coming in and checking it out. Thank you, Scott, for this mealworm box. I'm super excited about it. And I'll catch you guys next time.